Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the third video of my tutorial series on how to make your own drum kit in Logic Pro. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a snare drum from scratch using only Logic Pro stock plugins. There's a free download to all of the drum samples made in this tutorial series, and you can find that link in the description below. But anyway, let's get started. So first, we're gonna wanna make a new um, MIDI instrument track. And I'm going to use the ES2. And I'm going to go up here where it says factory default, go down to tutorial settings and analog saw initial. And I'm going to hit my, I'm going to hit command K to get our musical typing up. So for this uh, snare drum, we're actually going to use two tracks, um, one for the high end and one for the low end. Right now I'm going to work on the high end. So I'm going to shut off oscillator one and I'm gonna turn on oscillator three and set it to the noise generator. And then I'm gonna drag this all the way down here. So this is what we have now. Uh, next, I'm gonna turn this uh, detuning off and that's not really gonna matter. But I'm also going to go down here and turn the sustain all the way down. And I'm also going to turn the decay from 690 right here to about 160. And that's about it for the ES2 here. Next thing I'm going to do is turn on some EQ. And I'm going to cut off the uh, low end right here up to about... 200, 180 ish, whatever. Uh, I'm going to make that all the way to 48 decibels per octave. And I'm going to take this right here and bring it down to about 2000 hertz and bring it up about four and a half decibels. Next, I am going to turn on some distortion. So I'm going to turn the output down to negative uh, nine and a half, keep the drive at six. And then for tone, I'm going to turn it on to 4,400 hertz. Next, I'm going to put some more EQ on. And I am going to... Um, Put another low cut on to 200, about, and 198, that's fine. And then I'm going to take this high shelf and boost it, just about everything, up about 5 decibels, around 750 hertz. And that's it for this EQ. So that's about it for the high end. Um, now we're gonna work on the low end of our snare drum. So I'm gonna add a new MIDI track right here and another ES2. And I'm gonna do another uh, tutorial setting and another an analog saw initial. And I'm gonna turn this sawtooth wave to a sine wave. I'm gonna turn the detuning all the way down. I'm gonna turn it to legato um, because we're going to basically be sliding the sine wave uh, in between the 250 down to the 150 hertz range. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the glide up to about 66 milliseconds. And that's about it for what we need the ES2 for. Now I'm going to create a new MIDI region. And the notes we want are this A right here below C3 and then down to C2. So I have my note here and I am going to have my note down at C2. And these notes are a little too short, so I'm going to make them a little bigger. maybe about a hundred right there 
Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottom note, and because I want it to glide, I want this note to hit before this note. So I'm going to take this note and change the length ever so slightly, like that. And then this is what it sounds like. So we're almost there, but we can still hear this clicking noise every time I play this. So um, we're going to EQ that out. That's a higher pitch noise, and we only care about that uh, middle to low end. So I'm going to turn an EQ on, and then I'm going to take the high cut filter, bring it all the way up to 48, and bring it down to about 250 hertz. And then I'm also going to take the low cut, because uh, I don't need any of these lower frequencies, and bring that up to 48 and then move it up to about 125-ish. And then this is what it sounds like. So now we're done with that. And then I'm gonna make my MIDI note for the higher end. And since it's a noise generator, it doesn't matter what pitch we do. So I'll just pick any old pitch. And I'll do it for a measure. So this is what our drum is sounding like right now. Um, right now my low end is way too loud. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it down to about a minus eight. Maybe turn it up a bit to minus seven. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a track stack with both of these tracks by right uh, by by selecting both of them and then right clicking or control clicking and hitting create track stacks. I want a summing stack. And all I'm going to do is put an adaptive limiter on it and bump it up to about 8 decibels of gain to get our full volume. And then now all I'm going to do is bounce this out. So I'm going to do bounce in place. And I'm going to... Um, call this snare drum tutorial new track leave the source um, all this stuff I'll have normalization on that's fine and I'll hit OK so I'm gonna mute this and then this is our drum sample um, to add it to Apple loops I'm gonna control click and then add to Apple Loops library. Uh, scale, uh, neither I guess. One shot, genre is going to be uh, none I guess. All drums, uh, snare, and this looks about good. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performances, and DJ tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.